Our customers have been using simulation for many, many years, 40, even 50 years, simulation capabilities, CAE capabilities have been available. And they've been using it for all the right reasons, right? We want to improve product quality. We want to reduce time to market. Uh, we want to drive innovation within our design. But it's never really achieved the vision that simulation originally had, which was really simulation-driven design. Let's guide my design based upon the simulation that I am, I am doing. The reason for that is simulation is typically used as you see it in this graph today. That from a process standpoint, as engineers, we, we go through a concept design phase. We then choose one of a few of those concepts. We go to a detailed design phase. We start and detail that out. And only then, when my design is pretty much baked, do we say, OK, I better go simulate it now. Let me go check that it's going to meet my engineering requirements. And the problem is, more often than not, it doesn't. And so we have to go right back to the beginning. And you're making changes at that point in the expensive part of the design process. It's expensive to make changes when you're in the detailed design phase. So why is that? I mean, there's a number of reasons why that happens, right? Simulation is perceived as being, well, and is complicated, right? And a lot of engineers don't feel comfortable doing it. They feel they need to consult with an expert. The first thing you do when you are going to do a simulation is you need to make a copy of your model. You need to make a copy of your model so you can simplify your model down to get it to a stage that you can mesh it, that you can perform a simulation in a reasonable amount of time while achieving accurate enough results. And that takes a certain amount of skill to determine where I should simplify it, how am I going to mesh it. As you can imagine, design is also, or as you know, not imagine, design is an iterative process. So every time you go through this iteration, you've got to re-simplify your model, recopy your model. This can take hours, days, even weeks to your design process. What you really need is a tool um, that allows you, that is, is so fast, so iterative, that allows you to do this throughout your entire design process, not just after the fact. So last year, we announced our partnership with ANSYS at this very event. And the first incarnation of that um, partnership is the introduction of Creo Simulation Live, fully integrated into Creo, in, so directly inside your modeling environment. You have tools for the engineer right there, the ability to go and apply loads, apply constraints to your geometry, instantly see the results of that simulation whether it be a structural, modal, thermal analysis, instantly see it right in front of your eyes, um, giving you directional guidance upon what is happening with your design. I might not be an FEA guy, but I can clearly look at this and go, OK, red must be bad. So what can I do to go fix red? And so it allows me as an engineer to then try out different ideas. I can go and say, well, OK, I've got some high stress areas here. What if I put a rib in here? What impact will that have on my design? What if I modify the value of this radius? Okay. Again, giving me directional guidance throughout the design process, allowing me to go through all of these iterations rapidly, allowing me to get to the point in confidence that when I do go and do a final validation, a final high fidelity simulation on my design, I'm 95, 98% confident that this is the right design moving forward. This is available today uh, in Creo 4M90, Creo 504, and Creo 601. So everybody out there should be able to have access to this. It's an add-on extension to Creo.